there, Taurus. Welcome to my channel, Victoria, here at Radiant Moon Tarot. This is your weekly reading for April 16th through 22nd, 2023. We have a solar eclipse this week. Expect the unexpected. You're probably already feeling this energy. Um, if you are, okay, just uh, breathe. Deep breath in, deep breath out, center ground your energy, and uh, navigate what's going on. Eclipses always do bring a little bit of uncertainty. They bring change. They bring great opportunities, great portals opening. Um, but sometimes in order to open those doors and, uh, you know, to start something new, we need to shake things up a little bit as well. And your eclipse is happening in your 12th house. I will be putting out a... Uh, solar eclipse reading for everybody um, uh, as well. But um, yeah, this in your 12th house can certainly represent you about to elevate to a higher level of consciousness um, and also can represent things that are a little bit hidden or secretive. So you may have something that you're doing that you're not telling people about, okay, or may something may come to light for you in the week ahead. We have only weavers know the time coming in here for you. And this is really spirit showing you that, you know, sometimes we put a lot of pressure on ourselves to do things in a certain time frame. And, you know, we, you know, we say, I'm this old and I should have this and I should have this and I should have this. And in actual reality, that's not really true. We're all on a different journey. So, there might be something here where in order to get something done, you may need to kind of let go of constraints that have to do with time. And so we're talking like, I mean, you know, if you're looking to do something fun or maybe there's some changes that you wanted to make or maybe there's something that you've been waiting for. When we put those constraints of time on things, we kind of slow down some energies, right? We put the brakes on things without intending to do that. So for depending on what you got going on, you can certainly be in this energy where I'm just going to take a step back. I'm going to allow things to happen and take their natural course of events. I'm not going to push the issue because there may be some things that are changing in your world or things that you want to change and, you know, either um, to take things up to the next level, possibly even looking at letting something go and it's to welcome in some new, right? So a little bit of evolution may be knocking at your door here. Um, but sometimes we need to allow things to happen. We need to take a set, step back and give things time to unfold. Um, I do that with my emails. <laughs> so I get a lot of emails during the day in my day job. And um, sometimes I do find that, you know, the instinct there is to jump on every single email the second that it comes in because otherwise they get backed up. But sometimes it's like, you know what, I'm just going to see if this particular situation resolves itself. And nine times out of 10, it does without any inter intervention from me. So that can apply to other aspects of our lives as well. Sometimes you got to allow something to unfold. But I do also feel here that for some of you, you have been waiting for something and it just may come to fruition right about now in the next, maybe this week, but maybe sometime um, very quickly thereafter. Okay, and something that you've been waiting for and maybe something that you're starting that you've been starting to think this is never going to happen. You just might get a little bit of a surprise. All right, but we do have the nine of voices. We've got the emperor and we've got the eight of voices. So I feel that part of this energy here is so cool. Um, the nine of voices, nine of swords, eight of voices is the eight of swords. And we all know that the eight and nine of of swords are quite often us imposing restrictions upon ourselves. And just like what I just talked about. So this is the energy here where you need to um, take the lead, take control, but in a healthy way. So there might be something here where you, you're dealing with things and you just feel like I don't know how to proceed or I have to do something. I have to talk about something. I have to take some sort of action. And I'm just not sure about how to do something here. So this is certainly this energy where you might be feeling a little bit wrapped up, tied up in knots. And the best way to move forward out of that is to trust in your foundation, but also take the lead in a healthy way. 
Okay, there may be somebody around you here as well, since we do have the emperor, there may be somebody around you, uh, like your boss or something like that. Um, the emperor quite often is like, you know, um, the boss. And this can be where maybe you feel as though you're a little bit restricted. And if that's the case, um, you might be looking to make some change. And if you're looking to make some change, this is the week to do that. Okay. But we do have the nine of voices, nine of swords energy, and this is to start your week. So some of you might be actually a little bit tired this week. Um, eclipses really do bring in a little bit of shaky energy sometimes. Um, uh, again, anything can, anything goes right. So you could be having your sleep disrupted. You could be tossing and turning. Maybe you've got some wild and crazy dreams, um, that are waking you up in the middle of the night. If you're waking up between the hours of hmm, about two to 4 AM kind of thing, especially anything around the three o'clock mark, I tend to wake up at three 33, um, quite a lot. Uh, there could be something there, um, something with your subconscious trying to t uh, tell you something, okay? Um, and quite often we do kind of wake up a little bit. So keep a pen and paper beside your bed because you just never know what messages may be coming through your subconscious that you need to be aware of, okay? Um, but the nine of voices can show that there's a little bit of anxiety. There's maybe some fear about something. Some of you may actually have, like maybe you're starting a new job, or you have a new boss, or you've got a project that's due, and now you're like, oh my God, I'm never going to get it done. And of course, we all know, right, that just sitting there and worrying about something isn't going to change anything, right? It's something that we all know, but we all do fall into that energy sometimes, right? Worry is a useless energy, and it doesn't create any change. So um, you may need to make a very conscious effort there with the nine of voices to take a step back, get out of your head and into your heart space a little bit more, okay, and or to look at something from a different angle, okay, or trust yourself that you're on the right path, right, and then you will probably find things a little bit easier, but we do have the emperor and this solar eclipse coming in this week is in the sign of Aries. It's the second, um, second new moon in the month. So it's a black moon and it's the eclipse. And we do have Mercury going into retrograde in Taurus the very next day. So this is really all about you taking the lead, taking control, taking charge, knowing when to be flexible and adaptable and knowing when to stick to your plan. The emperor is very strategic energy, okay? Um, but when we have a strategy, if we are a good leader, if we are a good, uh, if we're pretty good at, you know, kind of getting things done, we know when to allow something to change a little bit in order to get to where we want to go, okay? Um, so this can certainly be you just really taking charge of your week. It's like, uh-uh, I'm getting things back on track. Things are getting away from me. I'm taking, taking back my power, okay? So you could be finding elements here where you are taking back your personal power. This can be a great time for you to start a new job or a new project. You're getting things done when we've got that emperor energy but it is that aries energy right so taking the lead getting things started initiating projects but trusting and believing in yourself that i am powerful i am strong and i can achieve what i set out to achieve now, some of you might need to face your fears because we do have the Eight of Voices coming in here and this is that Eight of Swords and quite often what keeps us stuck, okay, what prevents us from moving forward is confusion, uncertainty, um, self-doubt, self-limiting beliefs. Okay, and fear and also anxiety. But I feel like you might actually have a breakthrough this week. Okay, maybe there's a conversation that you need to have with somebody to get what it is that you deserve, to get what it is that you want. And maybe with the, uh, you know, with the time energy coming in, maybe it's something that is very much overdue. And here you are embracing and stepping into your own personal power and taking the lead, taking back the reins, and having a conversation that you don't want to have, you're afraid to have it, but you know what? It's like, I need to be in charge, I need to look out for numero uno, and this is what I need to do to move forward. <clears throat> because quite often we're afraid of having a no, 
thrown in our face, but the emperor brings an element of success, just so you're aware. So you could have a very successful conversation or you get the answer that you thought that you would get and this spurs you into taking action, into making some change for yourself. Whatever that is for you, that is an awesome energy to be embracing. So a lot of Aries energy is around you. The Four of Inspiration, your advice from Spirit. And the Four of Inspiration is the Four of Wands energy. This can certainly be a week where you celebrate your success or celebrate the fact that you're getting things back on track um, and that you are accomplishing something. So this could certainly be a week of accomplishment for you. The Four of Inspiration, this can also represent that maybe there are some invitations um, on the horizon. It's a very social card. It's a very celebratory card. Okay, And um, so you could have... Uh, an opportunity to get a, a get out and celebrate with your friends, attend birthdays, anniversaries, um, business networking, right? Some business event. Okay, a lot of events go on with this, right? And always good times and good vibes. Okay, so there could be something with that emperor energy. Maybe there is something that is being thrown in your honor, right? Maybe a little bit of a cheering squad, especially if you get something that you've been waiting for. And this can also represent, um, you know, that maybe you are attending something for someone else, right? But it, is, it can be a very social um, card there with that four of wands. And so your advice from spirit there is to go out and have some fun, celebrate your successes, or celebrate any decisions or breakthroughs that you may have, okay? Um, it does a heart good, does a body good. But the four of wands, which is what this is, is also known as the 1111 card. And your 1111 energy is about setting intentions and making your wishes, right? And what do we have? New moon, solar eclipse. Now is the time. Now, now, now. Call into, uh, you're being called into action to set those intentions to manifest your goals and dreams into reality. The time is now. And let go of the need to control time and micromanage the universe. Things will happen when they're meant to happen. Okay. So set those intentions and wish big and dream big right now. Okay. Uh, you got all that power within you, but also trust in your foundation. We've got two fours coming out here. Fours are about stability and security. Your home, your career, your family, that kind of thing, the things that make us feel like we're in a good place. And if you're not in a good place in those areas, then again, now is the time to get things back on track. You might not necessarily need to let anything go. You might just need to infuse fresh life into something and just focus on those areas, okay? Or trust in the foundation that you've built, your blessings headed, wow, another four. Blessings headed your way, the four of voices, a little bit of R&R, &R, peace, rest, relaxation, uh, very calming energy, okay? So here we're all tied up in knots. We're all wrapped up in a little bit of a bundle, but your blessing is to be able to let that go, is to resolve any inner conflict or turmoil, okay? To get a little bit of clarity and to have that peace of mind, that inner peace, that outer peace, okay? Okay, so very wonderful energy heading towards you as a blessing with that four of voices. This is also a card of meditation. So you may very much benefit from having a little bit of alone time this week and meditate. Okay, meditate, connect with your higher self. Now you can sit in a bathtub with some rose petals in there. Uh, you could go and connect with nature. Um, whatever meditation feels like to you. Take away the fluff and the flutter and just do whatever it takes that where you have some quiet space, you spend, give yourself some time and you just quiet your conscious mind and allow the energy to flow. That will benefit you greatly this week, okay? But I do also feel that something gets resolved for you this week that gives you this sense of relief, whatever that looks like for you. But pay attention to this though, because we've got three fours, four, four, four. Go look up the spiritual meaning of 444, the angel meaning of 444, and you will find additional information, another message in there that is just for you. You're meant to see those three numbers, and uh, there is something very important that Spirit is trying to tell you with that.
okay? So let's get a couple last cards for you. We've got the angels of abundance coming out. We have attracting, not chasing. Ooh, very important message. Anything or anyone you chase after will run the other way because of fears of underlying chasing energy. Instead, attract what you need by sending out love, gratitude, and welcoming energy, right? And we need to be ready to seize an opportunity, to seize something um, that crosses our path, right, to take action. But when we try and force something into, an, into existence, we push things away. Think about people, right? If someone is constantly at you trying to force you to do something, the more you're going to push it away. Same thing here. We have savings. As you consistently save for your future, your future is saved. You do your future self a big favor as you consistently set aside present funds. This is a part of your self-care and path to feeling secure as you focus upon your life's purpose. Very important here, and we do have Mercury going in retrograde in your sign the day after the eclipse, so this week. So the early part of the week could be an excellent time for you to um, oh, release yourself with the aid of voices to have a look at your bank account. Do you have um, any recurring subscriptions that you forgot about? Have a look at your bank statement. See what keeps coming out every month and you're like, what the hell is this? Okay, that is one way that we can actually save ourselves some money. Um, also, the early part of the week before Mercury goes retrograde because we're in a position of forward thinking, okay, is to have a look at your budget. Where are you wasting money? Do you buy yourself a cup of coffee every morning um, or do you make it at home? Do you buy lunch every single day or do you take lunch with you? Um, you know, th those kind of things, right? Where are you wasting money? Okay. And when we look at those little things, small little changes can actually bring us a lot more stability in our financial situation. Okay. So the, the early part of the week, especially is a good time for you to get your finances on track. Okay. Um, because we could have some issues a little bit later on with Mercury going into your retrograding into your sign, right? Can certainly have some financial things going on. Um, also throw some money in your wallet. Um, there is a psychology behind spending money. And in these days of electric currency, right? We use our debit cards for things and all that kind of stuff. We use our credit card. Um, there is a psychology behind that, that because you don't see the money leaving, physically see it leaving, we don't place great importance on it. But if you start your week with $100 in your wallet, you are a lot more consciously aware of how fast that $100 is dwindling. So just a heads up for you guys there. We also have do the work. It's not enough to dream or pray. You've also got to take the positive action steps that you are being divinely guided to take. Consistently working on your priorities will make them flourish like a lush flower garden. Yes, we don't chase things, but we do take positive steps forward to attract things into our life, to follow our goals and dreams. And we are all co always co-creating with the universe, so the universe meets us halfway. We take one step forward and the universe comes forward as well. So there you go. I'm going to leave all that there for you folks. I hope there was something here for you. If so, please hit like on this video, subscribe to my channel, leave a comment in the box down below. Check out the other videos that I've got there, monthlies, dailies, and of course I do career and love and all of that kind of stuff too, and plus timeless readings also. So I thank you guys for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.